Is Clash made it to global, guys? The chicken is here back with another Clash with Chicken video, and today we're going to be talking about is Clash Mini ready? We're going to play a few games, and uh, let's just get after it. So, Clash Mini has gone through a few updates, most notably update number eight, the last one, which was to prepare the game for potentially a global launch. Now, um, we're going to speculate. This is going to be speculative on whether they've done enough for the game to go global, some things that I like about it and some things that I don't like about it, especially from a uh, casual kind of player point of view, which I feel like is very important. Um, from the sense of, is the game pick up and playable, um, <clears throat> you know, to people for the first time. So I'm gonna start off with a couple things that I've noticed recently that weren't uh, huge um, deterrents, but uh, things that I think kind of stuck out to me just uh, coming back to the game or maybe if you don't log in all the time uh, kind of thing. So <clears throat> what I've noticed, and this is kind of true with all Supercell games, especially uh, Clash Royale and Brawl Stars, I would say, is there's just a lot of collecting. There's a lot of stuff. There's a lot of different resources and there's a lot of different types of tokens and things. And if you don't know what they are, it can be very overwhelming um, to a new player. And I think it goes back to one of the, you know, one of the biggest things to avoid or one of the biggest things that I would, I would think would turn off a new player would be that feeling of overwhelmed and I'm missing out because I don't know what some of this stuff is. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know. I'd like to see them focus a little bit less on stuff like the, the dioramas. Like, yeah, it's important for people to be able to buy skins and, you know, customize your troops. Um, and that kind of thing, but I just don't see the need, I guess, for all of these, um, you know, different types of currencies and that kind of thing. Come on, Magic Archer, put him away. Oh, he's coming back, and he's frenzied. Ooh, that was scary. Um, so those are, like, little, like, nitpicky things, but at the end of the day, the core gameplay of Clash Mini is very fun. Like, it's very enjoyable, and it's very addictive. Um... Let's go with a let's go with spear goblin, I think. Level up the golden knight. And we'll level up the bowler as well. Um, <clears throat> it's very addictive because there's very like minor changes that you can make and they have big impacts. So what it, it makes you do is it makes you want to get better at the game, right? That's the coolest thing about it. Um, and that's what every every game needs. That's what I think was a big problem with Clash Quest was it didn't really have that. The game was kind of just auto mode. And yes, Clash Mini is like an auto battler, battler uh, type of game, but that doesn't mean to say that the gameplay isn't fun. Like, um, you know, especially with like the special abilities and, you know, the hero perks and, you know, all the minis do different things and like they're different synergies together. Like there's a lot that goes into it for sure, especially at higher level gameplay. Um, so, I don't know. I think overall, I guess what I would say is the game is in a very good state currently, and it's very fun to play. But I will say at the same time that I think they can clean up some of this extra stuff because it seems like there's just too much going on. And I feel like that's a very easy way to kill a game early on. Um, is if there's just too much and it's too complex... You know, you want this to be something that people can just pick up and understand. And I'm sure they'll, uh, you know, they'll have a great tutorial that explains everything and that kind of stuff. But, um, you know, obviously this, there's a tutorial now when you first start the game. But I think when they go for global launch, it'll be even better. Um, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I mean, I think they could clean up some stuff and uh, maybe make less tokens and focus more on... Um, you know, the core gameplay, like I like, I like how they have the event menu and there's, you know, different maps and different boards and that kind of thing, um, which spices up the fun part, the, the actual gameplay content, but, but yeah, so I would say it still needs some, you know, a little bit of polish, a little bit of finishing touches, but I think the, the core gameplay is very good and it's very fun. So that's the, that's the main takeaway for me today. You guys let me know what you think down below in that uh, in that comment section. I've just been kind of going with what's available here, um, but we need to 
<clears throat> we need to level up our troops. Ooh, there's the fisherman. Let's see. Golden Knight doing his thing. Doing his thing. Bowler coming in. Uh, where'd my Countess go? We're looking good here, guys. We're looking good. Crushing it, man. Crushing it. Oh, the, uh, the Wave Dancer. I remember when he first came in, he was absolutely broken, but he's in a better place now. I think the Countess is pretty strong in this current meta. Um, but I always like the Countess. I always play the Countess kind of regardless. That's my hero. Um, all right, so what do we want to do here? Let's... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's put a healer in. Upgrade the Spear Gobby. And don't have enough to do that. So we'll save our one elixir, our one measly elixir for the next round. But last time that went okay. So let's uh, let's see. Adding in the healer should just um, make it go even better, I would think. I would think, I would think. I have been wrong before. But let's see. Countess got that uh, got the power up. There we go. That's super. Come on, Canvas. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. That's where I wanted you to go. Beautiful. Healer's still up. Healing stuff. Beautiful. Oh. That was a shot. Come on, go. Frenzy, 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 frenzy. Who's going to out frenzy who? Oh, my God. As if he got us. As if he got us. So, see what I mean? The gameplay is fun. The gameplay is fun. Uh, okay. <clears throat> I need to upgrade the Countess, number one, upgrade the Knight, number two, and what else can we do? Let's go with Bowler. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Used up every last bit of our elixir, so that's good. Uh, now let's see. It's cool how it shows you all the types here on the side. So we've got Goblin, Rogue, uh, Ranger, and Saint, which is pretty cool. Uh, because all the minis fit into specific uh, archetypes of uh, players. So let's see. I think we got this one, guys. I like the upgrades that we picked. Oh, man. His hero's getting some really good shots on us, though. I think the Countess is strong enough to take down everybody uh, himself. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my God. Dude, the Wave Dancer's dancing. <gasps> oh, my God, dude. That was so close. That was so close. Um, 20 trophies and 3 pass points. Very cool. And we got a little bit of a win streak there. So, so yeah, that's the important stuff. The rest of the stuff that I talk about, it's just kind of minor, like, little nuances that I found kind of annoying. Um, you guys are looking for a clan. You can join mine. It's just called the Chicken. I spelled clan wrong, so you know which one it is. We've got 21 out of 30 members. So, we have, uh, we have room. We have room. Shout out to Pazzy. And who else we got in here? Drogo, Kakayash, yeah, yeah, to Scott. Um, but yeah, so you guys looking for a home? Feel free to join up. There's no requirements. Just come on in. And um, yeah, we got some rewards to collect. We got some duels won. Let's see. Whoops. Got some more coins. Beautiful. Let's go back. Where did my? We got some seasonal quests. Very cool. Very cool. And da, 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 da. and awesome. Oh my god, we got more. I can't keep up. This is what I mean. There's too much stuff going on. But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, thanks so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like, fan, interesting, entertaining, or for Catch the next one, guys. Chicken out. Bang, bang.